Hello everyone, Gita Z Tracy back with another deck review. We are awesome deck. This is the Mardi Gras playing cards from the Edgy Brothers. The front, as uh, you can see, beautiful gold foil and it says Mardi Gras. And we'll get to the seal later. The side it says La says it's French. It says La says Les Bon Temps. Ruler, which basically means let the good times roll in French. And believe me, I know it is because it says on the other side, but I actually figured it out before even seeing the other side. As you can see, there is a fleur de lis as well all over the place. Fitting, obviously, for this deck. Top says poker size playing cards at the bottom. Uh, it's hard to read, but it does say produced by Expo Point Card Company in Taiwan. The back, you see the back design, very nice, lots of gold foil. There's a nice custom seal that has a that kind of a masked woman, you can see throughout. It says, Bon Mardi Gras. Uh, there's a close release, and it's numbered, number 86 out of 1850. Sweet, nice number. On the flap, more nice details. Inside, you get floor releases in gold foil on the Flaps on the inside, diamonds, green, purple, and gold colors. And there's your back design. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> Trust me, that's not the back design, but that is throughout the inside of the box. It's a nice little touch. The Jokers are pretty simple. It's just a Joker guy, a Jester guy, clown outfit. It's he's got all the main colors on him: the purple, green, yellow. There's gold, Joker in gold in the corners, and he's got those Mardi Gras necklaces. He's throwing one out throwing one away, giving it to somebody, maybe trying to get laid, I don't know. The other joker is the same thing except it lacks color. Looks a little bit incomplete, but it's fine the way it is. And it's actually a nice contrast because this one kind of like represents Mardi Gras with all the color and the fun and everything. And this one is missing that part. But it's a nice contrast. I think it's fine. The back design, very colorful. Greens, purples, gold. Uh, there is some white as well. Lots of nice beautiful details. The line work, I love it. Near image, that masked woman. It's very nice. There was also a plan to, for a stretch goal for a, I think it's purple instead of gold. But they didn't quite reach that goal, but maybe it don't still happen one day, I don't know. Ace of Spades says Mardi Gras on top. Bottom says Les says Les Bon Temps Wheeler. Just like the box, which means let the good times roll. Bottoms is designed by Dave Edgerly Jr. See a very colorful spade pip. I'm not familiar with the terminology for that colorful thing, but there's a fleur de lis in the center. My apologies, I've never been to Mardi Gras. <laughs> the hearts and diamonds, as you can see, have yellow pips. There's a green border that represents, it looks like, the uh, necklace, bead necklaces that the Zoker has. Spades and clubs are a purple pit. It's a little bit hard to see, but that's what it is. Dark purple. And, oh, I had that backwards somehow. These are go. Hard club diamond. <laughs> Court cards, very nice, colorful. Representing all the different things and people you might see at Mardi Gras. Lots of fun and colors, vibrance. Very fitting with the theme and with Mardi Gras and everything else you see on the deck. Apologize if I'm going a little bit fast. You can always stop and rewind. This guy's very fitting, just like we always see. Uh, number cards, very nice. Simple, clean. I like it. The nines, I noticed something a little bit odd about the nines. You see the nine of diamonds looks like this. Check out the nine of spades. The pip is in the center. Uh, and same with the nine of hearts. And then the nine of clubs is like the nine of diamonds. I Obviously that was intentional. I'm not really sure why. It's a little bit odd, but it's fine. It wouldn't be the first time I've seen that. Just why I would point it out though. Just so nobody has any surprises. When they open their deck. Hey, my nine looks different than his. What the hell? <laughs> so let's see the cards have a very nice stock 
It's a little bit stiff at first, like most or a lot of expert playing card company decks, but that's probably the better stock. With a little use, it does get better. The handle is very nice. I like the nice vibrant colors. That's not something you hear me say very often with deck reviews. Vibrant colors, colorful decks. These are the not so colorful. <laughs> uh, handle's very nice. I like it. As far as the art is concerned, uh, I like it very much. I'm going to say at least four and a half out of five. If not more, it's got to be one of my higher scores. Uh, it's just a beautiful back design. Um, handling wise, not bad. Maybe a little bit of clumpiness. You know, I haven't used it that much. So I will say four out of five. Usability definitely can be used for cards or magic or whatever you want, if you want, because. Everything is fairly easy to recognize, number cards, court cards, and everything. So, there's no problems. And I like that. Completely custom deck, but yeah, it can still be used for pretty much anything. So, I'll say 4 out of 5, if not more. Overall, I'm going to give this deck one of the highest scores I ever did. 4.5 out of 5. I like it. I'm not sure if collectiblepointcards.com has it yet, but definitely check out collectiblepointcards.com. Use the code VJOSA32. Get 10% off your order. And this, uh, if it's not available there, it should be available in the near future. And sir, I'm hoping, I'm guessing, not while well, there's other places. That's that. I'll see you next time.